This short video is a student's reflections on the multidisciplinary elective module, learning in an international environment. It is offered to students at the School of Social Sciences. The module is taught at the University of Westminster for a semester and at Hanoi University for nine days. It focuses on Vietnamese transition since the 1980s, looking at its development, culture, society, politics, psychology, criminology, and international relations. After two years due to COVID-19, this academic year, we returned to Hanoi, Vietnam. We hope this video provides academics and students with a different way of collaborating learning and teaching in a global environment. Talk to you a little bit about the process of how my experience was. At the beginning, we had the opportunity to have lectures where we learn about the history, um, the economy, about Ho Chi Minh and the French colonization. And all this was a preparation for us to go to the trip. We also wrote about our first section in Vietnam and what we were interested about. Once we got there, we were welcomed by other students that made the experience so unique because they really show us the city they were sharing us with us they were sharing with us some stories about their country and about how they were feeling about their past and the history we also visit different places like Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum we visit the Temple of Liter Literature we visit the United Nations where we were taught about climate change and about the things that they were planning to do in Vietnam and we also went we had the opportunity to go to the anniversary of Hanoi University and it was just really nice because we really enjoyed I really enjoyed and I we also had the opportunity to participate in lectures and this was very very important for me because we had the opportunity to talk with other students about the topics that we were interested in. and because we were from different courses different countries different background it made everything very special i had the opportunity to learn about human trafficking and child abuse and what what are the highest crimes in vietnam and then that helped me to prepare to write um my essay of what i was interested about it and i might take it to my dissertation as well so i'm really grateful for the opportunity that i had to participate in this module because it really opened doors and opened my eyes to just what it is really to learn in this global world that we're we are right now so i would recommend it 100 percent and i'm grateful for all that for the experience the friends everything Learning in an international environment was very interesting from the very start. To summarize the lectures quite shortly, um, we did have to look at booking not like uh, we did have to look at the trip, the general plan of the trip from the very start, because um, it's from September till December. And you don't have much time to book, like kind of plan everything and look at the itinerary and get everything together. It's very much a group project to get everything together. Um, you rely on each other to communicate and discuss about uh, payments, passports, um, kind of just the general gist of things you have to do from the very start. So from the very start, it is quite intensive in terms of you have to look at that, the, the business side, the planning the trip, uh, the actual trip, and then also balance that with your lectures. Um, from the very start, we learned a lot about Vietnamese culture, Vietnamese society, and it, we had this whole outlook of Vietnam and then from there, we eventually went to Vietnam after we had learned about uh, Vietnam's history, Vietnam's growing, um, growing economy. We took a look at all of this and then we eventually went. And to then go there, and I think this is the main point that I have to discuss, to then eventually go there was a completely amazing experience. For someone that's never traveled abroad, uh, abroad before, it was, it, was, it was really overwhelming at first, but it, straight away, everyone made me feel really comfortable. Um, the trip itself, we did a lot of things. For example, we visited the literature temple. Uh, we visited Ha Long Bay. Um, we live, uh, visited a one of the oldest cities in Vietnam. Um, and we looked at the culture, we looked at the food, the society, we met loads of people. We had university students from uh, Hanu University. And we also did a couple lectures there. Um, I think this year was the 20th anniversary for the uh, Faculty of International Studies. And so we got invited to a conference where we met some diplomats and ambassadors and also a lot of people from the university to be in vietnam was absolutely phenomenal i think the whole the whole environment the whole 
um, the whole society, the whole culture. It was incredible for me. Um, to be taken out of my comfort zone, to go with people I don't really know, and to live with them for seven to 10 days, it was an incredible experience and I would definitely do it again. Um, I would advise people to definitely take this module. It's an opportunity that you wouldn't usually get. Um, the module itself is incredible. The teaching is incredible. And so is the trip. You get the opportunity within this course to take everything that you learned and develop it beyond more levels that we normally get offered at university. We started out having to write about our specific perceptions, um, which obviously we didn't really know much about the country. And then at the end of this course, we had to write about our perceptions again, how they had changed whilst we were in Vietnam, which made it very full circle. And that was the beauty of this course was it, everything encapsulated each other. Like every single con like week of content we learned about layered on itself to the point where when we got to Vietnam, we weren't just foreigners on some ground that wasn't ours. We were educated individuals who could understand the world around them and having the opportunity to get to be immersed in that culture that you had been spending months learning about is something that is hard to come by and I feel very fortunate to have gotten that opportunity and to be able to study alongside other Vietnamese students and talk to them and have them share their world with us was incomparable to anything we could learn in a classroom. Um, and that's what it was, is it was a way to expand the classroom and your learning experience. What a memorable and fun experience it was. Uh, my first trip abroad on my own and for it to be Vietnam, uh, it was just amazing. Um, honestly, just thinking about it right now, it makes me want to go back and re-experience the trip again. The people, the culture, the country itself, it really does leave an impression on you. Um, let me begin with the people. They're just so respectful, they're kind, um, helpful, fun to be around with. And it's there are so many words that I can say and it would be still hard to explain my gratitude and um, respect that I have towards them. Um, the way they just are ready to help you on the go all the way, even if there is a language barrier, they were all just so nice and friendly. Um, they always brought smiles to your faces everywhere you go, approaching you, smiling, um, interacting, even with the fact that we're foreigners. Also, not to mention they love taking photos, so it just makes it more fun and memorable. I've learned so much about the culture, visiting many monumental places, uh, seeing the prison and how hard it was for them back in the days of the war. And it kind of makes you think how much they had to go through and suffer in order to gain that independence for their country. Like, um it puts perspective as well as that um visiting the mausoleum and seeing how they cherish their leader with love and admiration um through that you see how cultures differ in each country and it's just great to learn about it because it broadens your knowledge and perspective towards places um during my stay we had a number of students um that accompanied, accompanied us everywhere we went and I really did enjoy having them around. Um, they were easy to talk to, were not shy, friendly. Um, I never actually imagined myself to go to Vietnam and so if I ever get the chance to go again, I'd definitely go. Uh, this is the one of the most influential experience in my academic life. And engaged in the study of Vietnam from different perspectives, such as uh, not only from like learning Vietnam, uh, it's a uh, history of war again and political systems uh, development, but we also uh, linked some another uh, interesting uh, sub, uh, like interrelated uh, subjects, kind of um, psychology and uh, criminology, and I would say this uh, helped me a lot to see study from different uh, point of views and also learning in the field learning in the environment uh, helped me a lot to boost uh, this knowledge um, because we experienced a lot uh, lots of things about its history its uh, social cultural life its educational system uh, for example, 
attending to the lectures uh, at the University of Hanoi and uh, learning some uh, and other new informations and uh, visiting to uh, some places which has really historical importance in, in the life of Vietnam uh, such as uh, Ho Chi Minh mausoleum and uh, Ha Long prison this uh, singly helped me a lot to see uh, and uh, learn the history of Vietnam and the experience and uh, apart from uh, academic life it also helped me to improve my uh, such interpersonal skills like uh, communication as a being international students uh, it became more more uh, Joyful, and I was honored to be in a field trip in Vietnam. It was amazing, I loved it. It was an amazing experience for my career. We learned so much for, for, of cultural um, history, and we visited so many places in Vietnam, which helped me to see another perspective of Asia. I've never been to Asia, so it was my first time. I really liked it. The food was lovely. Um, it was it was an amazing experience. Uh, I will recommend anyone that is able to do it to do it because it takes you out of your of your comfort zone. I think anyone that would go, they would love it. First of all, because we were such a nice group, we were. It was a very, we were all very very different, and 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 I think maybe that was one of the reasons why we got on. I think really well um, with each other. Um, but yeah, when we went to Vietnam, I mean, I had some perceptions about how it's going to be. And I've seen all that you've, we've seen the videos about the hustle and bustle and about the Southeast Asian and whatnot. But when you're there, it's it's way different when you, you can actually be there and, and experience like the motorbikes and the just madness on the roads. It's it's something you have to see for yourself. And at the end, we went to Ha Long Bay, which was... I mean, you have to see the pictures. It was amazing. Time in Vietnam was actually unforgettable. Like, it was my first time in Asia and it was just so magical. The people, the food, the culture, the architecture was just amazing to see and experience um, for my first time as well, being in a new country. Um, especially one that differs so much from the west and western culture and you know the people that i was with made it 10 times better um i made some really really amazing friends on the journey um you know we talked about our personal lives our uni lives and it was just really nice to get to know someone on a different a personal level then I would have just sitting them sitting next to them in class. Um, like I said, I made so many close friends, um, not only in the University of Westminster, but also um, Hanoi University, and we're still in touch with quite a few of them as well. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just such a great experience that I would love to. I would actually love to go back to Vietnam and explore some more. Um, but I definitely suggest you, whoever's watching, go have a new experience in a different culture, in a different world that's not the West, um, and enjoy yourself, yeah. Another thing that was interesting to, to see was the French influence that is still there in their architecture and their alphabet. One thing that I really value from this trip was I walked away valuing freedom of expression and freedom of difference in opinions and open conversations. Another thing that was interesting for me as an American was the communist propaganda that was postured everywhere. While that was their norm for them, that would never be the norm for me. And it was just interesting to walk around a country seeing different type of political propaganda that I would never get the opportunity to see um, in my own country. This trip was incredible all around. The people I went with were people I would have never met if I didn't go on it. And this trip will be one of my favorites that I will go on probably for the rest of my life. Uh, 
and it was because my university and the professor that planned it and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity as a whole. I feel a bit nervous because this is the first time I work with many foreign people because of the limitation in my English skill and the differences in the culture, I think it would be difficult for me to make friends with these students. However, they are so friendly, so humorous and nice that I didn't need to spend too much time getting close to them. They try to talk with me a lot to help me feel less shy and more confident. Moreover, I can learn many things from these students. They are eager to learn when encountering the new culture and they are very active in class when expressing their ideas or opinions. Living with them also helped me to understand more about the culture from many countries in the world and it is very useful for me when I come back to my university and learn the subjects called the culture of English speaking countries. And after the two trip I attend, I found that it brings more benefits than just um, a visit. And why am I saying that? <clears throat> so most of the time I found that not only the student from the Westminster, they are just learning from the Vietnamese, the helpers, the student helpers, or learning the Vietnamese culture, but also myself and the other student helpers, we are also learning from the students due to through the stories that they, they tell through their activities they attend yeah I, I got myself into some games that they they made up or yeah it's more like a two-way benefits we exchange knowledge from cultures to cultures and yeah um the students ourselves the student from vietnam we get to um practice our english of course and we get to know more about your culture and of course we got to share our culture to your, you to you proudly yes so in conclusion um, the trips brings um, many opportunities and benefits to everyone who participated in thanks to the Westminster and the Fis Hanu who made it happen and hopefully there will be more trips in the future best wishes
One more time. This is the time. You got this, Maddie.